27th of July, 1667, marked the birthday of a great mathematician, Johann Bernoulli. Well, Bernoulli is basically known to the world of mathematics for his immense contribution to infinite simul calculus. This is a story which is going to motivate you, inspire you, and you are going to think that, yes, I can also do the work. I can also mark my work in this world in such a way. My name is Shaunak, and you are watching inspiring stories on my channel, Physics for Students. He was born on 27th of July, 1667. He contributed immensely to infinitesimal calculus and a lot of areas of mathematics. His name is Johann Bernoulli. Not only Johann Bernoulli, but three brothers of Johann Bernoulli's family, Johann Bernoulli, uh, Jacob Bernoulli, and Daniel Bernoulli, three of them were prodigies in terms of mathematics. Now, it was during this time that Johann Bernoulli actually uh, proposed a problem which is called Brachiostron problem, and he knew how to solve the problem, but however, he challenged the entire genre of European mathematicians to solve it. The Brachiostron problem actually comes from two uh, words, uh, two rather Greek words, Brachistos, which means shortest, and Kronos, which means time delay. So uh, in general, if you think what the problem is, you're given a shape of a curve, and there is a bead uh, which is sliding from the, uh, from the state of rest and accelerated by gravity. And what is the shortest time that the bead will take to reach to the other end? Now, with this challenge, uh, which he threw upon to the European mathematicians, everybody was running after to solve what is called the Brachiostron problem. The great mathematician and philosopher, even Leibniz knew that it will take a certain amount of time and he asked Bernoulli to extend it a little bit more. Given Johann Bernoulli's problem to solve within six months, it was during this time that Sir Isaac Newton was working at the Royal Mint. It would be worthwhile to take a note that why he was working, because it was during this time that entire Great Britain was going through an economic turmoil. There were counterfeiters who were doing a lot of bad things with the coins. The coins which was there during the time in Great Britain, uh, you know, they carried a kind of a silver lining and these coins were cut apart and with the use of a sheer instrument and the counterfeiters were sailing this silver part of the coin back to France. The entire economy was crumpling and Sir Isaac Newton was appointed at the Royal Mint to solve this problem. Eventually, with his ingenious stroke and his midas touch, Isaac Newton came to solve and designed a kind of a coin which was very difficult to counterfeit and do any kind of that kind of a coin. And with his sheer administrative capacity, uh, he solved the problem and the entire Royal Mint was doing great business and there was a profit. On the uh, 29th of January, 1697, uh, in the afternoon when uh, Sir Isaac Newton returned from the Royal Mint, he received a letter from Johann Bernoulli. He could understand that he was being challenged, or rather the entire uh, family of mathematicians was challenged to solve what is called the Brachiostrokon problem. Within a day's time, uh, Isaac Newton solved this problem and, most importantly, anonymously sent a letter to Johann Bernoulli. Bernoulli opened the letter of Newton and he told what is famously known is that we know the lion by his claws. Create a kind of an impact, create a kind of a, a you know, wonderful work which will inspire people. You need always not need to send or write or come in front of the people with your own name. You can write anonymously. You can be like Isaac Newton when you're sending the problems, not signing in your name. And as Johann Bonoli rightly put out, we know the lion by his claws. So you can create a profound influence on your work, on your achievement, on your success, that you are also told that I know this person by his claws which means that you don't need to be always very vocal, you don't need to always come out with all your colors, but a little bit of your hint, a little bit of a clue can 
make people around the world think that it can be his work only, not only his work, but it is only his work and nobody else. And the world will start applauding you just because of your achievement. You always don't need to portray yourself and the world will tell you that I also know this person by his claws. Thank you for watching uh, Inspiring Stories. My name is Shaunak. I'm signing off and promising you to come back with yet another inspiration story. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you.